think these claims about trade hurting American workers are, are often simplified and usually it's considerably more complicated. But, but let's, I mean, take the claim. Why exactly is it that Americans who get their job outsourced are entitled to the amount of sympathy that they get from American politicians? We give them a full a slate of entitlements. We give them free health care, education. We, we reify them as if they're these hardworking people. They don't contribute a thing to the economy. We give them a, a, an, an entire abundant economy uh, where they can retrain and learn new skills. We give them freedom of mobility so they can move anywhere around the country or even the world to find new opportunities. At at some point, we have to say enough is enough, enough of the entitlements, and we have to think about the bigger economic picture. And we have to weigh not only uh, this global economic picture, we also have to weigh why do the prerogatives of these bloated middle class Americans, why do they get priority over the developmental needs of poor people around the world who quite literally uh, are, are the ones who are facing life and death choices for poverty? The, the whole thing, I think, is grounded in a very but, uh, a poor but, moral framework. 